seeing one, two, three. I am talking normal. <laughs> we are all normal here. <laughs> Everything is normal. At least the mothership says <laughs> Hey guys, Matt from Laser Everything here today in Tampa at H&H &H Creations Tampa with the owners. Hi, I'm Christina. I'm Brian. And today we're going to be talking about how they got started and what their business can do for you and your business. So guys, introduce yourself to the whole bunch of people who'd love to know more about you. H&H &H stands for Heaven Hater. That's our two groups. And I've always wanted, when we started the business, doing craft shows and different stuff, I wanted to include the girls' names somehow in the business. Right. So that's how it come with the h, &H. I did craft shows for 10 years, travel in the state uh, with different people. You know, when COVID hit, we kind of shut everything down. We got into the laser business after COVID. And Christina and I were kind of mulling around, saying, so okay, how are we going to brand us? Yeah. You know, if I need to come up with a new name. And I fought her tooth and nail on H&H &H because everybody knows me as H&H. &H. Christina was always in the background working and it's usually Heather and I going out there and doing shows uh, versus Haley. But now Haley's out here doing all the lasers, running the lasers, helping shrink wrap and doing all that stuff. So when everybody asks, hey, what's H what's Brian doing? What's H&H &H doing? They, it's a name recognition. Yeah, so that's why it's H&H &H Creations. And really, H and H is more than just the name recognition. It's our daughters. It's how we base our business. Our business is focused around family, and that's why it's so important to him to have Heather and Haley in there. They both were part of our craft business and went out and helped craft shows. When you guys get special things in your packages, Haley packs those together. Um, Haley gets up here and shrink wrap. So it's a family business, and we want to pay homage to that family business. Yep. And I know you mentioned craft fairs, and that's basically, um, if you've never ordered from H&H &H Creations Tampa before, they're making some amazing Baltic Birds products. And so most of you guys, if you are watching this, probably have place orders and you know the quality material that they distribute. But if you don't, I wanted to let Brian talk about that for a minute and why it could help you versus going down to Home Depot and buying something. The Baltic Birds is made with, it's made by by five seats and four by eight. The 5 by 5s are interior glue, which is made with laser grade. Where the 4 by 8 sheets are made with exterior glue, and it will not cut in your glow forge. You won't want to cut in your X tool or your B mill because of the lower ones. I even, with my 100 watt thunder, I have a hard time cutting a 4 by 8 sheet because it's got the exterior glue. Our Baltic birch has got, it's clear. Well, I buy only from one mill, and it has white glue on the edges. If you look at your 4x8 sheets at Home Depot and Lowe's, it's going to have a brown glue. And that's what you're having trouble with cutting through. This is the back side. Sometimes you'll have some mineral streaks and stuff on it. But all of our product is always clear. That's why I buy only from one mill. And I make sure that it is the same brand at the same lot time, and I buy it by the container load. That way I don't have stuff from September and stuff from December and stuff from January. There's a lot of Baltic birch coming to the country now. It's a cheaper grade. They're saying it's 3D, but it'll have pin knots on both sides and it won't be as clear. Now, yeah, I could get a cheaper grade, but I'm not gonna sell a cheaper grade product to our clients. They know that when they get this stuff, it cuts consistently. I don't care if you order six months from now, it's still gonna be the same product. Might be a different lot number, but it's still going to be the same stuff. And it's all about your reputation, right? I mean, we have our brand that we want to do, and we know when you guys are selling your material, you have your brand. We want to give you material that you're proud to sell to your customers. And really, that is the most important part with it. Yeah, right. and as someone who's made products, like I'm sure all of you guys out there know, it really is, is the worst when you have a product that just looks a little bit different than one of the other things. And so that's where when you've got consistency, the quality matters. And so that's what... H&H &H Creations is helping you to do with your products. So if you're someone who especially makes ornaments at Christmas time, that's something to think about and consider. Um, the one thing I can tell you is that they've got supply and all of the stuff that I've seen today has been the same quality. Everything is top shelf. So just something to consider. Well, that's one thing you gotta look at too. When you're, when you're doing an ornament, you know, a forge size, depending on what you're getting, you're getting 12 of them across here. 
This sheet costs you $3.45. You're making 12 ornaments and selling them for 10 to $12. You're spending a little bit more money and material on our product versus Home Depot, where it might cost you 50 cents an ornament, this will cost you 60. That little bit in the grand scheme of things, if you look at it, the quality is what builds your brand. And that's what keeps your customers coming back. And they know. I won't go a cheaper product. I had some black MDF that I had inter introduced. We had some problems with it. The finish was pulling off. I got it out of my shop. I, I worked with the mill, I discounted it, and I won't carry it because they're having problems with it. I'm not gonna sell an inferior product just to make money. And you know, everybody's in you know in this business to make money, but I want I want the community. I like the comp, you know, the uh, the networking and we get a lot of satisfaction seeing everybody put our name out there, along with, hey, I made this for the h and material. Yep. It is so satisfying to just see that, hey, we made this. Versus you go to a craft show and I see you one time and it's one and done. I never see you again. Right. It's the repeat business and the repeat. And so many times it, it puts a smile on my face when I go over here to the shipping and you know, somebody will put a note, hey, you were recommended by so-and-so. Or the little fun notes that they love their products, thank yous, just, it's little things that people don't realize make your day. And that's what you strive for. You don't ask for the recognition, but it's nice when you see it, that it's making an impact to somebody and somebody's business and their lives. Another really cool quality product that you can buy is MDF, and so I'll let them take that away. Awesome. Well, MDF is a medium density fiberboard. And trust me, guys, that's just me. I never remember how to say it. It is different from what you guys get at Home Depot. Home Depot does offer something like that, but it comes out of what it's made out of. Most of the stuff at Home Depot is made out of a eucalyptus core, which is going to be a lot uh, more smoke when you are cutting it. Um, and there you can see a lot more charring. And a darker core. And it does have a darker core. What we pride ourselves in carrying is we have two different types of MDF. We have our original MDF, which is this one here. And it's kind of see it you'll see that it has a nice slick finish. Now this is good for those like earring backers that you may not want to paint on or some of our people like how the paint finishes on it, but it will take two or three coats to make sure you get this covered. It does cut really clean. Um, and normally the char you can wipe off with a baby wipe. It does work really good. This is the new raw MDF that we're offering. If you notice, it doesn't have a slick coating. What is awesome about this product, it literally covers in two coats. And when I say I talk about two coats, I'm talking about red. Red is normally the hardest color to paint. It'll take two or three coats. Yellow is normally hard and it will cover that piece of it. This cuts really, really clean as well. So just to show you guys a side-by-side -side of what this looks like when she talks Talking about the sheen when it's in the light so we're in the same exact light and you can really see this right here and so anyone who's ever worked with this before if you haven't worked with it before it's really smooth which means it's gonna have a lot of adhesion problems with any type of paint you use whereas the raw MDF super easy to, to grab hold of that coat of paint so one thing that we've concluded in all of our shipping are these cool little thank you cards so it has QR codes of course for our group on our Facebook page and Instagram and it also gives you some cutting settings for the Glowforge machines for Baltic Forge and MDF and just so you guys know this is double sided so you got MDF on one side and you got Baltic Forge on the other. Now, one thing well, you guys know with lasers that's really challenging is Baltic Birch does warp. It is an eighth inch of thick, and depending on how long you've had it on the shelf, it could have a little warpage in it. The biggest thing that we want you to do is to hold it down with pins. So one thing that Brian does, and he does this regularly, is he will cut pins with their Glowforge, and he includes those in the bag. So in every purchase, you will get some lovely pens and you can use these at more than Glowforge. We have a customer that uses them in our mirror. You may take a couple of them. So you can use multiple depending on what type of lasers you guys do have. Funny story, a lot of people ask what got us started with H&H &H Creations. And, you know, Brian talked a little bit about earlier, we used to do craft shows and different things. Well, he actually used to be a foreman on a remodel crew and he had a side job and he wanted to get into the laser community. So we took what he made on the side job and bought this laser, so our first Thunder laser. The rule in our house is that you have to pay to play. So if you get a new toy, you have to make money to cover for it. So being in Facebook, we were looking at different groups and me, I liked scrolling things, but I noticed that there were a lot of companies out there that did rounds. I'm a cricketer, so I was looking, people were selling rounds and they were selling farmhouse signs. So I was trying to get him to make those type things to be able to pay for this. And babe, what'd you tell me? 
I got more of the skill in cutting rectangles and circles. And now I cut rectangles and circles for a living. So we have a really good friend that had a glow forge, and she's like, hey, you really need to get started in this. He bought his first unit of Baltic birch, and we haven't stopped since. Funny thing is, this was delivered um, in May that I year. Ordered, I ordered it January 5th. It was delivered May 5th, and it did not fire up until December 27th. I pushed it from one side of the shop to the other side of the shop to get it out of my way. <laughs> because I was bit so busy working a full-time job and then doing this at night that I didn't have time. And finally, when we closed everything down at uh, Christmas, the week between Christmas and New Year's, I sat there and was like, you know what, I'm gonna get this thing up and running. And all it's done, I mean, it's cut a few jobs, but I literally cut all the Glowforge pins, all the pins that you guys get and all your stuff. So there was a question a couple days ago about how the Glowforge pins work in the in the machine. Literally, if, if, the, if the wood's got a little warp to it, these pins slide right in the honeycomb and hold your material down. to do this on every piece of material but occasionally you are going to get some warpage on your material eighth inch material especially the baltic birch is not going to stay 100 percent flat regardless of what you do i can cut it one day i've got stacks over here that i cut last night it's flat but by the time it makes it through all the different climates it might have a little bow to it it'll cut out put your pins in hold it down it'll be fine one thing you can do, if it does have a little warp to it, you can wet the curve, the uh, the high side, and flip it over and put something heavy on it for a day or two, and it'll flatten right back up. So one extra special attention to detail we do is actually shrink wrap all of our material. This helps keep it flat in the shipping process because with humidity and everything, it can get some warpage and everything. But the main reason is for the protection of the material itself. A lot of times different carriers, they may not care and knock the boxes around a little bit. We've had customers that have had boxes blown open, ripped open, but their wood still comes in perfect condition just because we do do the shrink wrap it protects the edges and the finish of the product so that's one thing that we want to make sure our customers have that same material what it looks like when it leaves here when it shows up to their door one of the things that i really focused on when we started our business was our fast shipping i hate having people's money sitting here while they're waiting on orders we were on the other side of the craft market where we were waiting on products so i try to do same day shipping or next day most of my stuff has already cut to length. It's here on the shelf. If it's on the shelf and you order by noon, it ships same day. Most of the orders are showing up within two to three days of placing the order. West Coast, we ship two day FedEx. So if you order on Monday, you will have your order on Wednesday. Doesn't matter where you're at in the country, you have it by the third day, if not the fourth at the latest. UPS and FedEx both deliver on Saturdays. If I ship on a Thursday for FedEx to the West Coast, it will be there on Saturday. My biggest thing is shipping. I cannot stand orders just being out there in limbo. So one of the cool things that we do with all of our products is put these cool little product labels on them. So when we get done shrink wrapping, we will put them on there put it right here on the edge of it. So when you guys have it on your shelf, you know exactly what it is. And when you run low, just scan this cute little QR code here and it'll take you right to that product on our website. The other benefit we've done with some of our specialty items, like we have our sample packs. We've labeled them in green so that you know what they are on your shelf with a quick eye glance instead of trying to hunt through it. Like the blue is our new raw MDF that we pulled out that is different from our slick. Well, our slick will be white. This one's blue so you know what the difference is. Same thing with our double-sided white. They have a nice little orange label there. So anything that makes your life easier is what we try to do. So guys, the great thing about H&H &H Creations Tampa is everything they make that we've talked about so far, everything is really nice and packaged and really nice and labeled. And Brian's gonna go through all the different products that they've got for you and the different sizes. So all of our products that we offer come in all the laser bed sizes. And if you don't see it on our website, send me a message, email, text, and we can custom cut. Now we've got our white MDF, 16 by 24. That's your boss. We have 19 and three quarters by 28 and three quarters. That's your Omtech, 20 by 28. And we also have MDF, 19 and three quarters by 27 and three quarters. That's your Omtech. And then we go all the way up to the 24 and three quarters by 34 and three quarters, which is your Mira 9 and also your Thunder 35. 
But if you don't see the size on our website, just shoot us a message. Christina is usually pretty quick to answer if I don't answer. One of the things I can tell you is being here and seeing the way they've got their workflow set up, it's really easy for them to get this done quickly and turned out to you uh, in the way that you need it. So don't hesitate to reach out and talk to them. So guys, thanks for tuning in today. Um, if you have any type of need for India, Birch, or any of the other specialty items that's gonna be coming to their website soon, reach out to them. They're awesome people and they're here to help you grow your business. So thank you guys so much for letting us come to the shop here. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Nice seeing you guys. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>